You're a pathetic, corrupt man, Redding. You know that? The corrupt part I do. I wouldn't say pathetic, though. This is your chance to go to Glenn and tell the truth before I do. Nobody's going to anyone, son. You ought to be grateful to me. Now you can collect your insurance and get all that money back you and Muslim brothers have lost. Did he confess? I need time to think. What's there to think about? He's guilty, right? No. What happened to our machinery was an accident. I feel guilty lying to my brothers, telling them the bookbinding machinery was destroyed by accident. Did you get your check from the insurance company? what y'all saying i know what y'all saying you see that mr williams jesse was gonna burn the house down he was and hank stopped him and you calling scholar a skank skank ass skank listen to me skank you are a skank listen from here on out i won't say not one bad word about scholar all right i promise just like walter <laughs> i promise i won't say nothing else all right <laughs> Okay, y'all, here's part two. <laughs> All right? Stop the damn music. Yeah. Since Goodwin's. Wow. He was following his ass the whole time. DEA. Downtown. What? I'm like arrested? You know how this works. You could witness for me. It'll go better for you. Yeah, sitting around in D.C. waiting to be a witness against Mr. White is... <laughs> it's gonna go great for me. So... you're angry? I can't sleep, I'm not eating. Last night I was online for six hours looking up untraceable poisons. Damn! His close family friend had been keeping a secret God from that night. damn, Marie! And somehow this person's secret became known. And now you're sad and hurt and angry. I'm, I'm in the ballpark. To be this wrong about someone. This off. 
We all lead double lives to some extent, don't we? We all have our secrets. Yeah, not like this. Not like you. Marie, I think it's time you filled me in on some more details here. Who and what are we talking about? I said I can't do that. It'd be bad for Hank. My friend made that clear in his little movie. Marie, you, 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 you're talking a little too damn much now. Idiotic, stupid idiot. I could have. We could have. She going through it, man. She going through it. Blackjack winnings. Nothing suspicious about that at all. Tell me about this movie. Dave, can we simply just focus on my feelings here? The details don't really matter, do they? There's nothing to be done. Okay? He screwed us, and he won. How's work? Last week, you were upset about the new parking rules. Marie. Sex or detoxin. Derived from shellfish produces a flaccid paralysis that leaves the victim conscious through a progression of symptoms. Death occurs from respiratory failure that is definitely a contender. Marie, you're not ready to fill me in here? That's fine. He, he gonna report her. But I want you to listen. He gonna report her. There is no problem, no matter how difficult or painful or seemingly unsolvable that violence will make worse. I know, I... Don't worry, I wouldn't hurt anybody. I just... It just feels good to think about it. I ain't gonna lie, I be having crazy-ass thoughts my goddamn self. Uh, something's come up. I, I thought you might want to get out of the house for a day or two. You thought I might want to pack up and move out of my own house. Why? What's going on? I, I, look, I, I don't want to get into it now, but, you know, the thing with Walt, there's, uh, there's been a development. What happened? Are you in danger? No, 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 not at all. It's just, it's a fluid situation, and I think it might be a little smoother if you're not here. So, I, uh, it's going to be great. You know, I, I, I booked you a spot package at La Posada. You do that whole Riverstones thing. Hank, what the hell is going on? Hank? We have a guest. He was a little keyed up. Gave him a couple sleeping pills. This is gonna be so good. Okay, okay, so listen. If I bring that kid in and, and put him in the system, Walt's gonna find out five minutes later. You know, my, my last ten witnesses died in jail, remember? And, and, and I can't use a DEA safe house without writing them up. I, I can't lose scope a motel. I know it sounds crazy, but this is the, the, the best place for him uh, for now. Just a day, maybe two times. Okay, just answer me this one question. Is this bad for Walt? Yeah, very. Good. I'm staying. I'll heat up lasagna. <laughs> and you scholar haters want to know why I love Marie way more than scholar. Y'all want to know why? Because Marie's a motherfucking rider, right? She's a motherfucking rider, right? From the jump. From the jump. Yeah, he's sleeping it off all right. 
at Hank's house. Hey. Hey. What are you still doing up? Couldn't sleep. Oh. You and me both. Hey, right, have a seat. Paul Walt Jr., he don't know shit. He don't know nothing. Everything okay? Oh, yeah. Just business stuff. How long are they gonna hide it from Walt Jr.? Like, you guys, he's gonna see Hank and Marie eventually. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, maybe. See how it goes. And I think Walt Jr. is gonna flip the fuck out. You're sick Because he love fucking Hank. No. That's not what I mean. Hey, we'll do not to worry, remember? How can I not worry? Come on. You think I came all this way just to let something as silly as lung cancer take me down? Not a chance. I'm not going anywhere. Should have brought our suits, huh? Walt, that's your son. That's your real son. You ain't Jesse's peppy. You Walt Jr.'s peppy. That's a dope-ass spot, though, man. That shit dope. Nice-ass spot. Waking up. First thing you're gonna see is purple. Nope. First thing you're gonna see is the fucking Woody Harrison. Like, what the fuck is Woody Harrison doing with Santa? Listen, from here on out, I won't say not one bad word about Scholar. Alright? I promise. This is so fucking weird. This is so fucking weird. Go me! I knew he was gonna tell his boy! You want some coffee? Uh, no, no. I fucking knew it. That's his goddamn boy! I think your wife. You take cream and sugar? Go me! Uh, and Hank! Blacks, like blacks that! Good. Thanks. I fucking love that relationship, man. Gomi's a real motherfucker, man. Oh, Hank is finna send a fucking confession tape right back to Walt. Oh, this shit is so dope. This is probably gonna take a while. He gonna send a tape back to Walt. All right. Uh, uh you remember uh, Agent Gomez? It's my dog. How you feeling, yeah? That's you my dog. But this, this, this can't be what you mean by burning him to the ground, right? I mean, I got, I got stories that'll make your toes curl, but you know, it's just my word against his word kind of stuff. He's fighting He's fire with fire, fire, Jesse. Like proof or anything. So. Gummy, can you uh, grab the curtains over there? I think there's a, there's a glare thing happening here. You know he's retired, right? He's, he's not even in the business anymore. So you're never gonna catch him with a camcorder. We're gonna catch him. We gotta do this first, okay? Come on. Where the hell did Marie get that big purple ass rug? Huh? Just tell us your story, okay? Start from the beginning. When, when, when did you first meet Walter White? 
wow, I can't believe this is happening. I first met Mr. White's, Walter White, in junior year of chemistry. Oh my God. He was my teacher. Oh my God. You believe him? Yeah, I do, unfortunately. I hate to admit it, but I think the kid is right. There is no physical evidence, not that I heard. Yeah, well, there's no weapons, no bodies, no working lab. Just the word of one uh, nut job meth head against Mr. Rogers has a lung tumor. So do we take a run at Lydia Rodar Quail, Ramos Pest, follow up with the Drew Sharp killing? Where do we start? I say we start with this. Jesse, I'm going to be at Civic Plaza tomorrow at noon. I hope you'll give me the chance to explain myself. Talk through everything once and for all. I'll be alone and unarmed. So if you want to come and shoot me in the head, that's up to you. Either way, I'm in your hands. Go and talk to that asshole. You, you can't be serious. No, go and listen. He wants to explain himself. We put a wire on you and let him explain. So your plan is to do his plan? You, you, you seriously think that this, this whole once and for all in the plaza thing is so he can talk to me? Why not? I, 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 I can't believe you do. The dude wanted me out of town before I came to burn his house down, and now I'm even more of a threat to him, okay? And he's got a zero tolerance policy on threats, you know? If I go to this plaza, I'm a dead man, is why not? Hey, Walt's ruthless. He'll do just about anything to protect his interests. I agree, except when it comes to you. He cares about you. <laughs> Can you see? Oh, yeah, you mean when he's not uh, ripping me off or calling me an idiot or poisoning people that I care about? Yeah, no, Mr. White's gay for me. Everyone knows that. Oh, I mean it. Based on everything you told oh, us, do think uh, paying for your rehab, uh, ran over those two drug dealers with his car. So it sounds like he saved your life. Uh, made you a 50-50 partner. He didn't need to do that. Yeah, you know, he uh, sort of did. I'm the only one near as good as him, uh, so. I don't, I don't know. The way you tell, it sounds to me like he's manipulating you to stick around, like he doesn't want to lose you. He do I'm care about I'm all those numbers he, he, he runs on you over and over, helping you find the rice and cigarette. Come on, look how far he'll go to show you, to convince you that he's not such a bad guy. That's what this is. What if it's about um, killing me, you know? You know, getting me out in the open. Hire some, uh, some clock tower guy or, or have me sit on a, a poison needle or something, you know? Nothing's gonna yeah. To you. I mean, the plaza is one of the most wide open public places in all of Albuquerque. It's the middle of the day. And Angie Gomez and I will be right there with you. Look, look, you two guys are just guys, okay? Mr. White, he's the devil. <laughs> you got now, that he right. Is, he is smarter than you. He is luckier than you. Whatever you, whatever you think is supposed to happen, I'm telling you, the exact reverse opposite of that is going to happen, okay? Jesse, Jesse, we're not brainstorming here. This is not asking. Unless you know another way to get the man, then this is it. This is what's happening. I got to piss. Can I piss? Yeah, down to the left. He's going to try to make a run for it. Another SD card. He's going to try to make a run for it. What if the kid's right? What if it's a trap? The kid? Oh, you mean the junkie murderer that's dribbling all over my guest bathroom floor? <laughs> God damn, Hank! I mean, he's right. Hankman gets killed. Let me get it all on tape. Hank! Don't push the questions, okay? Let's not get him suspicious. All right? You and him do the talking, right? Just relax. That's what uh, that's what matters most. And don't cross your arms. If you can help it. 
Macho Villa, Selma Hayek. Macho Villa, Selma Hayek. You getting that? Loud and clear, idiota. How's it looking, Tommy? No change. Shit. Yes. Are we doing this or what? Ready to kick some ass, partner? I already know this shit right. gonna go left. Time to go. This shit gonna go all the way left. Jesse's paranoid like a motherfucker. Damn, I'm paranoid. Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? Uh huh. Uh huh. Hey, Hank. Uh huh. What's, What's with the kid? He's just standing there. That fucking, that fucking goon. That fucking walk, boy. Jesse know all your fucking tricks, cuz. Jesse ain't no fucking dummy. He's taking off. I think he's running. Oh, no, 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 kid, come on. Look at the fucking goon over there on the side of the fucking wall. You don't see the fucking dude? Got it? He's at the payphone. Who the hell is he calling? Oh no, 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 no. Come on, kid, no, come on. He's calling Walt, goddamn! Try, asshole. Boom, y'all! Where are you? Just want to talk to you. No, uh, I'm not doing what you want anymore. Okay, asshole? This is just a uh, heads up to let you know I'm coming for you. See, I decided that burning down your house is nothing. Next time, I'm going to get you where you really live. Jesse. Oh, goddamn! Jesse? Jesse? Jesse, know all your tricks, Walt. You taught him too well. You paid Saw for nothing, cuz. Get your money back from Saw. Didn't work this time, buddy. Didn't work this time. Okay, that's the type of effect Walt have on motherfuckers. You got this bald, beastly looking man looking like he want to kill somebody and he's waiting on his fucking daughter. So I guess it's his weekend. Oh. Damn, profiling like a motherfucker. <sighs> okay, what do you expect? You got Walt, a known fucking smart genius psychopath. You looking for something to happen. I'm surprised the little girl didn't go up and shoot Jesse. Son of a bitch. Stupid high little what the hell was that all about, huh? What were you thinking? Thinking there's another way. What? To get him. There's another way. 
a better way. Damn. This shit, I told you it was gonna go left. So Walt was really trying to talk to Jesse with no bullshit. Hey, it's Walt. I'm okay. I, um, uh, Todd, I think I might have another job for your uncle. Is he gonna try to send those fucking Nazis after Jesse? Oh my God. Walt has no idea that Jesse's with Hank. Skylar put in his head, he didn't want to hurt Jesse because he loved Jesse. I really thought, I really thought that big dude with the bald head, why is everybody on this show bald? I mean, even the, 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 the locksmith was going bald. Did y'all notice that? Even he was going bald. What? does Vince have against bald people? Do Vince think all bald people are evil? Or crazy? Or just fun to watch? Well, y'all keep watching me. Keep watching me. Anyway, uh, this motherfucker is calling Todd's crazy ass family after Jesse. Shit just got real. So I guess that was the last straw when Jesse made the phone call and said, nice try, but this time it hit you where you really live. I'm going to hit you where you really live at. So I guess he has no choice but put a hit out on Jesse. And Walt has no idea that Jesse's with the fucking cops. The fucking DEA. So this shit's finna get all the way fucking messy. Oh my God. The storytelling on this show is... You can't even put into words how great this fucking show is. You can't even put into words. Is this show in the Guinness Book of World Records? Because it should be. I know somebody's going to leave me a comment. Breaking Bad should be in the Guinness Book of World Records of the best storytelling show of all time. All right? Game of Thrones should have in the Guinness Book of World Records of the best characters. All right. Breaking Bad has great characters too. But Breaking Bad is like fucking flawless. Like storytelling, great characters, fucking colors. Like there's not one bad fucking episode yet. And I'm on episode... um. Um, 11, 12, one of them, but I'm this far and there is no bad episode. I got to get right back into the next episode. I'm going right. I got to see what the fuck's going to happen. This motherfucker is calling Todd's crazy ass family after Jesse.
Walt Jr. don't know a goddamn thing yet. See y'all in the next episode. I gotta get right back into this shit. Oh my fucking God. See y'all in the next episode.